hey hey lovelies so today i'm back again with another hair tutorial and this time i'm doing this gorgeous updo with a custom color for my client's gender reveal if you want to see how i achieve this look stay tuned so the first thing i'm going to do is gut everything on the inside of the lace and that's all the scraps and the clips so that when i do go to put the ponytail everything is laying flat and you just want to be super careful when cutting off these threads because they are really thin and it's really easy to poke a hole in the lace and you don't want that. So we're just doing this so that we're able to pluck that bottom part of the lace and so that everything is laying flat. Now once you do this part there's no going back so just understand after you cut everything out you're going to have to glue this wig down for future wear. If you're okay with that go ahead and do this if not skip this step. Once you're done, this is how it will look on the inside, and then we're ready to color. Now for the color, I use Adora Semi-Permanent French Cognac and Honey Brown. The theme of her gender reveal is Pebbles and Bam Bam, and this is the color inspiration she sent me of Young Miami's hair. Now because this process was so tedious, I did not record the entire thing. If you guys want a separate video on how I color my 613 units without getting the color on the lace or the knots, um, I will make that for you. Just go ahead and leave it in the comments if you're interested. But for now, as you can see, I'm just taking my time to paint that color on. I did do that test strip to make sure the colors blended well. And it looked like the picture with the filter. So this is what we have. So after molding the cap, fitting the wig, and installing it, we're going to skip right on to the styling where I've already parted out the bang and I'm just going to go ahead and use the wax stick and I'm going to press that bad baby down, okay? This video literally does no justice to how many times I went over this ponytail with the hot comb. You want to make sure everything is super flat so when you put everything up in a ponytail, it's looking nice and neat. Now, as you can see, I've already parted out her baby hairs. And excuse me, I'm going to be doing everything on this side just so she's comfortable watching TV. For the baby hairs, I'm just going to be cutting that in an angle and making sure it's not longer than the length of her forehead. Then I'm just going to be taking this small flat iron and curling it so that it's easier to curve when I do the baby hairs. Then I'm just going to start by swooping everything backwards and making sure that it fits the shape of her face and also curves the same way as the bang part if that makes sense. So for this, you can just watch my swooping motions. Um, the trick to nice baby hairs is just making sure it's not too much overlapping, making sure that you can see in between each strand of hair, like see scalp in between each strand of hair. And then you can do the same for the sideburn. And mind you, all of this is just making sure that it's fitting the shape of her face. Like I see so many one size fit all um, baby hairs and it just doesn't look good. So you just make sure all of your parting is actually fitting the client's face. Or if you're doing it on yourself, make sure it's just fitting your face. And here we go again with the hot comb. I cannot stress this enough, y'all. Like, it's already so hard to put these full laces in a ponytail. So just make sure everything is, like, nice and flat. Now, that little extra test strip piece that y'all see me holding in the beginning, I went ahead and wrapped that around a ponytail so that it's much fuller. There's actually no hair added in the front, which is where I actually thought I was going to have to put the extra hair but i didn't because the wig was already full so because i had already colored it i just added it to the ponytail but it really honestly didn't even need it some most times you do need it but for this wig you didn't need it so yeah i'm gonna say this was actually a really good wig the lace wasn't too thick or white you know sometimes some 613 wigs they don't do that good with, when it comes to the lace but this one was good and it was full and it didn't shed that much so i'm gonna add this to my amazon storefront and i'm gonna put the link to that in the description below so now that i've curled the whole ponytail i'm just going to finger out those curls and then i'm going to start the pinning process now for the pinning process 
I just roll it in my fingers like this and then I go ahead and pin it down there's not any rhyme or reason to the way that I do this I just pretty much go off of filling I try to make it as high as possible I try to make it a little messy but also still being able to tell what you're looking at it's not looking like a bird's nest so that's how I go about doing this so as you can see I just pinned that one on top of you know the last one that I did and then I'm just gonna do this all the way around the ponytail and so while I'm at it I am gonna leave some room for some of them to hang I'm not gonna do too much but I'm gonna do enough so that it looks messy and it's not like so so perfect but first I'm just gonna continue to stack the curls and then later I'll go back and pull some of them out and then when I'm done with that, I'm just going to tug a little bit at some of the curls so that it's not too tight and that it's still looking a little messy. And then, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and pull some of these curls out so that it's, it's giving like a little chandelier look. and now on to the bang so basically you're just going to cut it at an angle so it can have layers and you can do this with scissors if you like i usually like to use these eyebrow razors because they're super easy to work with and like i said this wig was super full so i didn't need to add any hair in the front but feel free to add hair for that fullness i didn't get to record the curl um but i basically curled it like i curled all the other curls in the ponytail and once i combed it out this is the look that it gave and then i'm just lay layering it a little bit more and just keep in mind, your bang is not going to look like this if it's not full. So please add hair if you need to. The only reason it's giving like this fluffy look is because it's super full. And then here, I'm just giving it a little lift. I'm playing with it a little bit to see how it moved. And then I'm just going to spray a little soft spritz. So that it's not too hard but it's still staying in place and then like I said giving it a little lift. And then you can just take the blow dryer to it just like this so that it gives it a more firm hold and it doesn't flop. And then one of the last steps is to just go ahead and part with a little concealer just to make the part look more realistic. And then the trick with this, especially if you're doing a color unit that's kind of close to your skin tone, is to go one shade lighter, maybe even two, so that your parting stands out. And yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it. This color is so, so fire. I think that honey brown really brought out the dimensions in the French cognac, so I'm happy I mixed those two colors. And I'm just so happy with the way this came out. And if you stuck around this long, thank you so much. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.